everyone, hello and welcome into our post-game video following the Minnesota Vikings' final regular season game of the 2021 campaign where they were victorious over the Chicago Bears at home in a meaningless exhibition between two already eliminated bad football teams. The Minnesota Vikings will finish the season with a final record of 8-9. and nine. They will miss the playoffs for their second straight year in a row. They haven't been over 500 since 2019, no division titles since 2017, and today is the end of the era that is Mike Zimmer as the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. We will likely hear the announcement made tomorrow at a press conference. And that's it. We're done. The regular season is done. We will have no postseason. The next season, the, the next thing that we really have to look forward to is the NFL draft, which is kind of why I'm wearing the 2021 NFL draft hat for the Minnesota Vikings. I look forward to seeing what the new hat is going to be this year as we get closer to that day in April. So... Here we are on our final post-game video of the year. It's been a wild ride. I'm actually kind of glad that it's over because I can't do this anymore. I mean, every Sunday this year, guys, like, I feel like you like, you know how they say like smoking takes like X amount of years off your life. I feel like we just went through a carton of cigarettes every Sunday and because it was just, it was too stressful, too much anxiety overdramatic, you know, you know, all these crazy finishes to these games, the entertainment value through the roof, right? Just way up here. But as far as our mental health and well-being goes, like, damn, we didn't need to go through all that, did we? Just to get to eight and nine, like, come on. So the Mike Zimmer era is over. He will likely be fired tomorrow. I have a couple of questions for you guys, and I will give my thoughts. Uh, also, don't forget to leave a comment uh, in the comments below on this video, you could potentially be selected to be featured in tomorrow's video, which is going to be the day after Chicago. Um, the way that this works is that you leave a comment, I potentially select it, screen cap it, and respond to it in tomorrow's video the day after Chicago. That is your comments, my reactions, our video the day after. So don't forget to participate in that. Um, remember to keep them short, concise, and to the point. About five to six sentences is usually pretty good. Screen caps can only be so large. So don't forget to do that. This is our last day after video, um, and then we will go on from there. So a couple of questions that I have for you guys. Question number one, were our expectations for the season too high? It felt like in the off season that we were all sort of enamored with the free agent signings and the draft class. We, we kind of looked at it like they were doing really good things, you know, taking an offensive tackle in the first round, using a, a high draft pick on an offensive lineman. We thought that was great. Uh, signing key defensive free agents where we were lacking last year in the secondary and the defensive line, especially on the interior. I think some of us got a little overzealous thinking that Dalvin Tomlinson and the return of Michael Pierce was going to be the Williams Wall 2.0. That just never happened. Uh, Michael Pierce actually didn't play today. I think he's missed like I think he's only played like eight or nine games out of the potential 33 that he could have played these last two seasons because he opted out of 2020, which, you know, I have no problem with that, but it just, it hasn't worked out. Um, Daniil Hunter was lost for the second straight season. You know, that, you know, of course plays a factor into it, but did we, was, was our expectations too high? Like I, I remember saying like, I want more than just a one and done in the playoffs. I want to go the distance, you know, like I was done kidding around, messing around and, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe we were a little misguided in thinking that this team was was really that good. And I know my I, I know me personally, and there, there's videos on, on my channel to prove it, that I was kind of sounding the alarm after the first couple of preseason games, like, whoa, this team, this team might not be good. <laughs> this team might be bad. And if starters have to miss a significant amount of time, it's gonna be bad. And it kind of turned out to be that way. Uh so question number one, was our expectations too high? Question number two. What will you remember about the Mike Zimmer era? Or what will you, you know, what, what does the Mike Zimmer era mean to you as a Vikings fan? For me personally, I feel like the Mike Zimmer era, the eight years that he was here as the head coach, can be summed, summed up in two words. Missed opportunities. Because we had a lot of opportunities for this team to be really good, to go the distance, and it just didn't happen. The missed field goal against Seattle, that's going to be uh, something that sticks with us for years to come because it's just another meme in Vikings lore. Um, the 2017 season, I think, was probably the peak of everything that we had to experience these past eight years. But at the same time, I still feel like that that season was ultimately a mirage or a facade, however you want to describe it. And we just got so lucky and everything went so right all at the same time. Like we caught all the breaks that we possibly could. And it was just never going to happen again because, you know, that's 
that was the culmination of what they were able to achieve. And it just, you know, once we got blown out of the NFC championship game, it was, that was it. It was, it was done. Uh, we were on borrowed time from that point on in this era. And so, uh, that's what I'm kind of like wanting to know, uh, from you guys, what, what will you remember about the Mike Zimmer era? What does it mean to you? And my last question is for, for us as Vikings fans, are, are we willing to go through, and I'm on the record of having said this, I'm willing to go through, you know, a couple of bad seasons in order to get to the top. Um, now, that doesn't mean that we have to necessarily become the New York Jets or become the uh, Houston Texans, the Detroit Lions. I, I think that we can have a bad season if it means we're doing the things for the greater good. So are you are you okay with the idea that we're going to have to do some pretty unpopular things this offseason if it means that they are necessary and will facilitate success down the road in the future. I think turnarounds in the NFL going from a bad team to a really good team can happen more quickly than we would like to admit. We always like to say, like, you know, okay, if we do a rebuild or a reset, that's going to take five years and we're going to waste five years of Justin Jefferson. I don't necessarily agree with that anymore because you kind of see these turnarounds happening in real time. I mean, a couple of examples that I've been seeing around the league today, like Ben Roethlisberger had the most washed season I have ever seen from a quarterback. Like he is just absolutely done. He has no business being a starter in this league anymore. It's hilarious at this point that how, or like, remember how good we made him look in the second half of our game and they made the playoffs. As long as the Chargers and the Raiders don't tie as of this recording, they're still playing. They're in the playoffs. The Philadelphia Eagles trade Carson Wentz to the Colts. They roll with Jalen Hurts at quarterback. They're in the playoffs, mostly because of us losing uh, last week. Uh, they got in. So uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, quarterback uh, for the 49ers, they're in the playoffs. It doesn't have to be a death sentence, in my opinion, to move on from Kirk Cousins and you know have ha have a you know a better have better expectations, if I could put it that way. So. Those are my questions for you guys. That's sort of my reaction. This is a disappointing season, but I'm at least glad that it's over. And I'm at least glad that there is change coming. Tomorrow, we will get the announcement. It will be made official. Mike Zimmer is all but officially fired. Um, didn't care to really talk about it in the post-game press conference, uh, but it is what it is at this point. So um, that's my thoughts. Those are my conclusions on the 2021 season. I don't know if we're going to talk much more about this season. I'm kind of getting ready to produce videos and content for next season. I already did one where I talked about Jim Harbaugh. Uh, that playlist will soon be created once I make a second video. Uh, that way there's, so there's just not one video hanging around. So we're done with 2021. Thank God. Let's move on. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. We've got the coaching search. It's going to be a lot of news. Um, roster moves. Uh, we're going to find out what uh, becomes of Rick Spielman here in the next week or two. Uh, you know, there's going to be a little lull as we sort of go through the postseason. Um, so I'm going to probably kick it into high gear with the NFL draft. Uh, if, if you go through the channel, check the uh, past year's NFL draft playlist. I believe that there's two of them now from the two previous seasons. Sort of get an idea of what kind of content we're going to be looking at. Uh, I'm going to do player profiles, some mock drafts. I think from now on, every Monday is going to be mock draft Monday. We'll try to do something like that. Maybe not this Monday because tomorrow's the day after. So we'll do that next week. So that's where we're at. Uh, thank you guys for a great season. Uh, it's been great. I uh, look forward to keeping you all around for the off season. We've got a great community. We're closing in on 2,000 subscribers, something that I never thought was possible with this channel because I'm just some idiot in Ohio talking about the Vikings. Like who gives a shit, <laughs> but uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the interactions. This has been a fun season, even though it was really um, embarrassing at times and disappointing overall. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.